in a community where it is so rare to learn that somebody has been murdered in one of the least violent places in the United States of America, it, it, owing in some part to the fact that we're a community of immigrants. There are people who've been here for generations. There are people who've been here for a matter of days, all of them contributing to our, our security and our safety. It's, it's really important that the country knows that, that this is not us, um, that it took somebody from outside of El Paso coming in, bringing their hatred and perhaps reflecting the hatred and, and the fear espoused by this president who is trying to teach the country to, to be afraid of immigrants, who he falsely blames for violence in our communities, or disparages those who do not look like or have the same traditions of faith as the majority of this country. It takes something so foreign to El Paso to do something like this in, in El Paso. And the message has to be that, that more than just changing our laws, which is very important, especially as we get the details about how he acquired this firearm, uh, what his background is, other details about his life, but, but the level of open hatred and racism and intolerance that we have in this country right now, there, there's a ve very real mortal consequence to that that we are seeing all over this country here in El Paso, in synagogues outside of San Diego and in Pittsburgh. Uh, I mentioned the, the mosque in Victoria, Texas being burned to the ground, hate crimes on the rise every single one of the last three years. Folks, this did not happen by, by accident. We, we cannot just pretend that this is who we are, our fate, our future, our fortune. Um, th this is owing to the rhetoric used by some uh, for political gain, to drive us further apart, to make us afraid. Um, and we've got to stand up to it. And, and we've got to provide uh, a much more positive alternative. And that alternative to me is the city of El Paso and everything that you're seeing right now in response to what has happened here today.